Happy Tau Day, everybody! 6.2.8. Oh, there's no point there. 6.2.8. Oh, and 4. 7.6.9.2.5.2. Okay, welcome to a special Tau Day coding challenge. This is just me wasting time on the internet. But, you know, it's worth noting the day. We, I noted pi day and I made a coding challenge, which was an approximating pi by uh, using a kind of dart throwing technique. Let me close all this stuff up. We can run the example right here. The idea is I'm throwing darts into my processing canvas. Um, and the ratio of the number of darts that land outside of the circle versus inside the circle give me the value of pi. Now, one of the most comments I got so much on this video was, but you're using pi to calculate pi. Well, no, I'm not. And I want to be clear about this. I'm going to comment out all of these lines of code right here. And I'm going to say print line pi. So there we go. We can see my approximation of pi right here. Now, I am sort of using pi in the sense that uh, probably the value of pi is used where, is there an ellipse function somewhere in here? No. Wait. I thought maybe I used the ellipse function. Oh, I do. Uh, in where this ellipse function is drawn. But let me comment this out. So now I am not using the ellipse function, which probably behind the scenes is using pi. And I am, I am only using, the reason why I'm seeing a circle is because I am calculating the distance of each point to the center and checking if it's below a certain amount. And if it's below a certain amount, it means it's inside a circle. But let's just look here. The only place where I might be calling math.pi is now commented out. I was just using that to compare. Okay, so we can see here that this is in fact not using pi, but giving me this amount. Now, why does this work? Now, I already covered this in the previous video, so you totally could just go away and do something else right now. But if you don't want to go watch the previous video, the reason why this works, just to talk about it again, is if this is a square and this is a circle, right, the area and this is a value called r. The value of the, uh, the, the, sorry, the area of the square is each side of this square is 2r. So the area of that square is 2r squared, 2r squared, or 4r. The area of the circle, as we know, maybe from some math class, is pi r squared. So here I am using the idea of pi but only because only I know that that's the definition of the area of the circle. Now, what if I were to just throw darts at the wall and I would count how many darts landed in the circle versus how many darts landed overall? That would be the same. And so the total darts divided by the circle only should be equal to, uh, oh, this should be 4r squared. 4r squared divided by pi r squared. So now what I want to do is solve for pi. Oh, this is hard. Okay, well, first of all, the r squared can be, is gone. So then I could say 4 times total divided by circle total equals 1 divided by pi. Okay, I just flip those, right? So pi equals the circle total divided by 4 times the total total. That seems kind of right. Oops! Ah, I always get my math wrong. Okay, so guess what, everybody? Um, all right, let's, start, let's do this again. Uh, okay, so now if I reverse these, I could say pi divided by 4 equals the circle. And this should say circle t, like the circle total divided by the total. Now, I can just multiply each side by 4, and I can say 4 times circle t divided by total equals pi, or pi equals this. And if we go back to my code, 
we have 4 times the total number that landed in the circle uh, times the, divided by the total overall. So that's there. So now, what if I want to approximate tau? <laughs> well, what is tau? Tau, <clears throat> by the way, is, uh, okay, so what's the circumference of this circle? Meaning, what's the length of the arc all the way around? 2 pi r. Well, that seems like an awkward way of writing it. Why do I have to have this 2 here? What if I just had a value that instead of being pi was twice the value of pi? Then I could say the circumference is just that value times r. And that's what tau is. Uh, something. It's another Greek letter that I've totally botched. Let me go look up how to draw that better. So here's the Greek letter, right? Uppercase tau, lowercase tau. So I can go back. It's not so, I didn't do the, the worst job here. I, I, I guess, a, yeah, that kind of, that'll be. So I could say, say tau r, and guess what? If r is one, the circumference of the unit circle is tau. The circumference of the unit circle is tau. Not two pi. Ah! Tau. See? I don't know. People need, now enjoy the comment section of this video, everybody. Um, so here's the thing. What if I want to approximate tau? Okay, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, well the area of the circle is still 4r squared. And the area of the, the, the I'm oh, sorry, the area of the square is still 4r squared. But the area of the circle, pi, oh no, no, pi divided by tau. Well, what is it with tau? Tau, tau divided by 2, tau divided by 2r squared. Okay, tau. so yeah, while well, this is super nice, I gotta say it's tau divided by 2. So now I have the 2. Where do I want the 2? Do I want the 2 here? Or do I want the 2 there? I don't know. I don't know. Tau or pi, which one? Somebody help me. But let's say I do this, then the total, wait, 4r squared or tau divided by 2 r squared. So the r's get canceled out. The this becomes an 8. And so now the value of tau, guess what? You just double it. It's just double. It, tau is just double pi. Pi is just half tau. Whatever you want, just live your life. Tau and pi, just live your life with them both. Uh, eight, and then this is tau. So we now can go and revise <laughs> my coding challenge. This is really, you're still watching this video apparently. I'm gonna stop this and we're going to, we're gonna make one of these for all of you tau lovers out there. This one goes out to all you tau lovers out there from me to you. We're going to change this to a record tau. We're going to draw that. We don't need to draw that. This is unnecessary code. I'm going to save this, where I forget, is approximating tau. And I'm just going to put this on the desktop of my computer. This is processing. It's Java, processing.org. Everybody always asks. Um, then I'm going to come down here. Oh, I don't need to do so many each frame. Um, uh, my formula here is now 8. Tau is 8. And I can, now what I want to do is uh, I need to check the record tau if I get one closest. Because uh, uh, redo the record. And then now, and this is now tau. And then, ah, this is just math.tau and math.tau. All right, oh, and this is record tau. Okay, we're good. I did it. I redid my coding challenge. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Java.math. Mm. Uh, where are the constants? Where are the constants? Hold on. Math.py Java. Mm, yep. Pi. Oh, there we go. Here are the constants. E. We get E. We get pi. I don't see tau. I don't see tau. This video is over. Forget it. Done. 
all right, fine, I'll, keep, I'll do it anyway, I'll do it anyway. But this is so sad. This is what I have to do. Look away, everybody, look away, don't look, don't look. And now, we are now approximating tau. Happy tau day, everybody. See ya.